Daydreamer. Good day to all. It's Joe here of Daydreamer. In this video, we will discuss about the power consumption of free-to-play PC games and how much is the estimated electricity cost per month when playing them. This will be part 1 of the video series. This video will include the following games. Valorant, Fortnite, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, League of Legends, and Dota 2. The power consumption, which is measured in watts, was checked using a power meter monitor. The game graphics were set to the highest available settings during tests. The max frame rate has been set to 60 FPS, and the display resolution is 1080p. In this video, we have used the July 2021 Meralco electricity bill to determine the cost per kilowatt hour. Please take note that the cost per kilowatt hour varies on each electricity billing period. We will only use a single bill for reference. The total amount in the reference bill is 5,885.23 pesos, equivalent to around 116.816 USD. If we divide that with 582, which is the total kilowatt hour, then we will get 10.112 pesos equivalent to around 0 0.20 USD, which is the cost per kilowatt hour. Just a note, as of August 10, 2021, 1 USD is equivalent to 50.38 pesos. Here is the desktop PC hardware specifications used in this video. Assuming that the games are played around 10 hours a day in a month or 30 days, the computation in determining the cost per month will be 10 hours times the max watts consumption of a game multiplied by 30 days equals the total watt hour per month. The total watt hour per month multiplied by 0 0.001 will be the kilowatt hour per month. Just a note, alternatively, we can also divide the total watt hour per month by 1000 to get the same value. It's just the same as multiplying it with 0 0.001. To determine the electricity cost per month, we will multiply the total kilowatt hour per month by 10.112 pesos. So, let's get started. The first game is Valorant. Here are the results. Max watts recorded is 138. 138 watts multiplied by 10 hours by 30 days equals 41,400 watt hour per month, which is equivalent to 41.4 kilowatt hour per month. The electricity cost per month is 418.6368 pesos or 8.309 USD. No more. Next game is Fortnite. Here are the results. Max watts recorded is 250. 250 watts multiplied by 10 hours by 30 days equals 75,000 watt hour per month, which is equivalent to 75 kilowatt hour per month. The electricity cost per month is 758.4 pesos or 15.05 USD. Next game is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Here are the results. Max watts recorded is 164. 164 watts multiplied by 10 hours by 30 days equals 49,200 watt hour per month, which is equivalent to 49.2 kilowatt hour per month. The electricity cost per month is 497.51 pesos or 9.875 USD. Next game is League of Legends. Here are the results. Max watts recorded is 143. 143 watts multiplied by 10 hours by 30 days equals 42,900 watt hour per month, which is equivalent to 42.9 kilowatt hour per month. The electricity cost per month 
is 433.80 pesos or 8.61 USD. Last but not the least is Dota 2. Here are the results. Max watts recorded is 146. 146 watts multiplied by 10 hours by 30 days equals 43,800 watt hour per month, which is equivalent to 43.8 kilowatt hour per month. The electricity cost per month is 442.90 pesos or 8.79 USD. We hope that this video gave you an idea regarding the power consumption of free-to-play PC games. Along with the estimated electricity cost per month, let me know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more videos. Stay safe and many thanks for watching.